good morning guys uh, so welcome to my tutorial and uh, this time again uh, I'm going to actually upload this video uh, uh, you know uh, b basically request I uh, received from uh, somebody and uh, he's actually uh, he saw my video on the auto email uh, which is a VBA video uh, let me just actually show you that's the video number 56 if you haven't watched it just watch this video it actually talks about that how to send the emails automatically right so if, if you are uh, if you want to know that how you can connect your excel application with the outlook application using the vba then that's the video for you right so you can go there uh, you can go to my playlist as well just click on my playlist and then uh, over here i have uh, applied you know i have uh, given a link here excel vba all in one go so it has all the videos here and the very first video which you would see on this link is video number 56 that at how to send emails automatically right so that's the video you must watch it before watching this video and uh, or maybe you can watch this video and then you know you can go back to that video so what we actually are going to do is uh, so, uh, so this uh, the requirement is that now how to create the folder you know how to create the folder using VBA right so generally what happens like suppose if I'm on my inbox if I want to create any folder you know that I can right click on it and I can say new folder right and the folder will be created so what if you want to use this to VBA so that's what we actually going to do here today quite interesting so we'll create a folder uh, within this inbox folder you can create maybe uh, you know um, you know I mean uh, outside this inbox as well that's your choice but right now our target is actually to create a folder inside this inbox so right now you can see that I have the folders like Ajay I have Ashad Gunjan and that's it uh, maybe we would like to create a, some new folder uh, which we can name as let's say uh, you know uh, to do to do task right so let's begin with and uh, so I'm just going to create this uh, a sub called the folder creation and if you don't know the basics about like you know uh, that what classes we actually use just watch my first video you will come to know about it uh, I will be very short on that I'll not explain uh, those uh, classes here you can watch my you know that video on the auto emails so what we are actually going to do is uh, as usual we are going to create our outlook application right outlook application and then in order to access the folders we actually will make a use of this class which is called the namespace class right so namespace actually is a class uh, is a class which uh, is used a class which is used to access all outlook folders right so whenever you want to work on the folders actually this is the class you're supposed to use it has a property in methods which can actually help you in you know accessing those folders now next thing which I want is that um, I'm gonna create a folder uh, I'll name it as FOL and uh, I'll say that this is going to be my outlook folder right since I'm going to deal with this a folder now you have defined the folder you have defined the namespace and the application now it's time to s give the allocation to this O look object so in of course in the memory and you you do like this set O look equals to outlook dot application now this will what it will do is actually um, in case if you are if you outlook uh, right now as I have activated this outlook right so what it is going to do is it is going to set up this O look a variable it is going to allocate the space in the you know computer's memory and this variable will have now all the properties which this outlook class can have right so similarly uh, you'll do okay so my mistake uh, this should be uh, this should have some different name uh, so I'm gonna name it an namespace right O namespace right you can name whatever you want I'm just writing it because I think that's that's something I usually write in my code so I'm quite habitual of it now this has to be what this has to be your actually get namespace and this is gonna be what M A I P P right so am I uh, am I uh, P I actually it's a mappy it stands for uh, I guess a uh, messaging uh, protocol interface um, some sort of that thing right uh, uh, I don't actually remember it uh, exactly but maybe we can uh, search it uh, yeah I got it I, <laughs> I just remembered so it's called the messaging application protocol 
interface, right? This is something uh, that you'll have to actually declare it in order to access between the folders, right? That's a standard code, just like you write this outlook. I have actually talked a lot about these things uh, in my f uh, you know prior video, so just watch that video. So we'll use these, and uh, thereafter uh, we'll say that uh, fol equals to now what? So my folder has to be what? Of this namespace because now this namespace own namespace uh, object this will have now uh, the you know uh, we have uh, assigned this uh, we have given this value of mappy which is a messaging application so it will now go through all the all the folders so I'll say that get me this uh, def I'm sorry get me this default folder so what folder actually you're looking forward is I'll say that I'm actually interested in this inbox right so that's completely now uh, this actually shows that now you will actually going to deal with this folder so this fol will now have the all the properties of this inbox folder which is my this folder now you need to create a another folder inside it so what you can do is uh, maybe you can create a new folder uh, over here you can say that f uh, fol2 as string just name it as string and give the name whatever name you want to give so I'll say that uh, to do list okay now the next line which which is quite simple now what you need to do is just fol go to this fol and folder folders under this folder you need to add you need to add what so you need to add the folder to fol2 right so that's how that's simple this is actually quite simple code and now we can see actually whether we are able to get through this or not so I'm gonna start this uh, f8 and this will work alright so you can see here the to-do list is <coughs> created so that's how you can actually create this folder right so this is how uh, you can you know manipulate the outlook uh, classes uh, you should know that you know what class actually is supposed to use like in this case namespace is a class which we will actually you know we 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 were supposed to use it because we are dealing with the uh, you know uh, the folders uh, in this outlook so that's why we use this right so that's it for now and uh, keep writing me uh, I'm flooded with your emails I'm very very excited uh, to you know see uh, day by day these exciting stuff from you requirements from you and that's my email ID uh, ajay underscore qm underscore a21 at the rate yahoo.com you can even uh, you know leave your comment on my videos and uh, just to reiterate myself uh, these are the my playlist when you watch any video on the YouTube just go to the playlist and you have all the links over here VBA videos Excel VBA all in one go now this this will talk only about the VBA video so I'll upload this video over there as well you can click on this VBA video and you can definitely you know check all these videos these are the videos uh, how to prevent any shortcut key from working I really got a very good response on this video uh, people really like this video it's a must watch video and and this video actually talks about how you how you can actually uh, put a constraint on a user that he if he is and uh, uh, using some key maybe any key you know let it be uh, save control s or let it be some another shortcut key and you want actually that key should not be you know he should not be able to use that right because of some good reasons then y you just watch this video we have talked about uh, how you can actually uh, re uh, you know refrain a user by using this f11 key which is uh, used to create the uh, charts and similarly i have all the sh uh, you know vb videos over here so I'm gonna, uh, as you, uh, as as I was talking about, you can get this video how to send emails automatically on this playlist as well. However, you can even watch this in by going to this Excel VBA where I have combined all the videos, right? So I'm gonna just upload this video over here on the VBA video tag, and uh, there you can watch it, right? All right, do let me know how do you think about this video, and uh, till I ne upload the next video. Thank you so much, and stay fit, stay happy. Bye bye. Thanks.